Hey everybody, John from Wire here. And in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up SPF and DKIM records on our domain so that we can authenticate the domain within MailChimp. Now, why do we want to authenticate a domain? Well, to put it simply, there's a lot of mail providers out there. You can think of the really big ones. There's AOL, there's Gmail, there's Yahoo. All of these different companies, they wanna make sure that the emails that are being sent to their different users are legitimate and they aren't spammy or scammy. So the way that they do this is they make different senders, that's you and folks like MailChimp, they make you set up different types of records on your domain account. And the records that we're going to use today are SPF and DKIM. Now, it's not really important to go into too much detail about what these records do, but you can think about it as kind of like a verification that whoever is sending a message from a domain is actually that person who owns the domain. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and get started. So to get started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna log into MailChimp and we're going to go into the left-hand side under website where it says domains. Now, I've already verified this domain on MailChimp. There's a few other videos that I have that talks about how to do this. On the right-hand side, you should have a button that says start authentication. Once you click on that button, it's going to get you to this step right here. So I'm going to click on restart authentication, just start from the beginning. So the first thing we need to do is select our email domain provider. Now, how do we know what our domain provider is? Well, how did we set up the domain to begin with? Most of you are probably using something like Bluehost, GoDaddy, or maybe something like HostGator. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use other. Keep in mind that what I'm outlining here in this video works for all these different providers. The UI might look a little bit different for each one of them. So then I'm gonna click on next. And then I'm gonna to go to my domain provider's website to modify the DNS records. Now in Cloudflare, which is the uh, records provider that I use, they have a very simple interface on the left-hand side under DNS, and it allows me to add different types of records right here. Your DNS uh, setting center is going to look very, very similar to this. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna copy the instructions on the next page, and we're going to add two C name records. So if I go back into my DNS records, I'm going to go under the type, I'm going to select C name, and then I'm gonna copy the two values that are listed here and just paste them in the sections that are needed. Right there and right there. Now this is only unique to Cloudflare. You're probably not going to encounter this if you're using any of the other services. Make sure that you have the proxy status turned off and then click on save. Now we have one more to add. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. Add record, go to type, select C name, and then copy the C name two values located here. And all I'm doing is just matching them name to name, and then value to target. Again, Cloudflare specific, turn off proxy status, and then click on save. Okay, so here's the two C names, DNS records that we just added. Uh, once you've done this correctly on your DNS provider, you're going to have all of these records listed here as well. It's probably going to have the same exact content, but double check just to make sure. The next step is to go into next, and then we're going to wait for MailChimp to check the records. Now, they say that this could take up to 48 hours. It's pretty unlikely that it's going to take 48 hours. You'll probably see this verified within a couple hours. If not, you may have to wait the full amount of time. If it takes anything longer than 48 hours, what I would do is I would go back to step three and just make sure that the records that you have for both C names in your domain uh, DNS settings that you just modified are correct and exactly what are listed within MailChimp. Uh, I really doubt it's gonna take more than 48 hours though. Let's go ahead and check the status and see if it is updated yet. So it says, nope, the records haven't been validated. So we're gonna come back in a little bit and see if the records have been validated in just a couple minutes. Okay, so after about 25 to 30 minutes, my domain has been authenticated and it'll say success right here. I can also go to the top and it will say authenticated right next to my custom email domain. And that's it. If this helped, please let me know in the section below. I really appreciate it. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, have a great day.
Hey there, before you go, I wanted you to know that this video is not sponsored, and I create all these videos in my free time. If you want to support this channel, please consider donating a dollar, or more, using the Super Thanks button at the bottom of this video. Anything you donate goes directly to me, and helps fuel my coffee addiction. It encourages me to make more videos like this in the future. Thanks again for your support.